Yep, you're good. Go ahead. So Sydney starts out with a wedge piece of clay, which means the air bubbles have all been taken out of the clay. And she throws it down to the center of the bat in an egg formation and pats it into place. Now she makes a C or chair with her left hand and holds it with her right hand, which is pushing it into center. And now she's toning up and toning down with her hands which makes the clay even. And she can need to do that three times.
stop and like come off. That's that. Now Sydney's fixing it. Anyways, to finish the four step process, she would have taken out the water and started all over again. If there's an air bubble in it, it could blow up in the kiln, so you definitely want to get rid of those. And if there's an air bubble, sometimes part of it will fall off. The bottom will get too thin. Sometimes you need to take the whole thing off or you can just pop it. In this case, the whole entire thing fell off. So now Sydney's making a smaller pot and going back to the four-step process with notches and water and her feet's fingers. And with her dinosaur arms, she's going to cool up. Take the sponge and dry up all the water on the inside and repeat this multiple times until she gets the height she wants it to be. Notches. Water. Cool. do a cut back, which is taking the clay at the bottom and making it nice and pretty, and taking the clay that's surrounding it and cutting it off. Hence the turn cut off. That extra clay will go into the recycled clay and we will use it again another day. Now she finishes off. She Makes it smooth on the inside. Takes all the water off and smooths smooth the rim with her sponge and fingers. And now she's getting on the slip off of the bat. Finishing it up. And there's your pot.